To a parent of a child with an invisible disability such as ADD, ADHD, LKS, autism, or any other brain-related disability, the hardest part of your child being in this group is the fight. The fight for services, the fight for people to understand who your child is and what your child needs. The fight for knowledge, because after all, knowledge is power. And then there is that quiet fight that you have within yourself, wondering if you have done everything in your power and you have left no stone unturned. The constant worry special needs moms carry around with them has left them feeling completely exhausted and depleted. When you are running from doctor's appointments to OT appointments and speech pathology and running to swimming lessons and art classes and so much more, it still seems that you wonder if you should or can be doing more. Perhaps the guilt you feel is so powerful that you will do more at the cost of your own mental well-being. But what if it means that you're pushing yourself at the cost of your own health? If you are struggling with your own mental anguish, anxiety, and depression, have you considered how this might affect your child, both in the short term and the long term? Your well-being is directly related to your child's well-being. And having said that, it is imperative for you to implement some form of self-care. Here are three easy to implement strategies that can help you. Number one, take deep breaths throughout the day. Throughout the, day. the stress you are under is proven to be that at the same level of a combat soldier. Taking in more oxygen helps replenish your body. Number two, ask for help. Be it a friend, a neighbor, or family member, Asking for help does not make you weak. In fact, it helps you regain your focus and come back stronger. Take a five to 10 minute break and go for a walk. Fresh air can not only clear your lungs, but also clear your mind. Until next time, I ask that you take care of yourself because your child depends on it.